positive vibes and positive mind makes a life positive welcome to the video session of mahindraguru.com the topic today that we have is the fifth layer of osi model yes it's the session layer let us begin with the topic let us study what all services are provided by the session layer the fifth layer of osi model the services that are provided by session layer will be studied later but let us see which and where the session layer is located at what position at which position position is the session layer located the first layer that we have is the physical layer the second layer the data link layer the third layer the network layer the fourth the transport the fifth the session the sixth the presentation and the seventh the application layer the fact here that should be remembered is that we have to follow the bottom top approach first second third and so on this is that that should be remembered and memorized and should be recalled at the time of examination. Now, let us see where actually the session layer is located. We can say the session layer is located below the presentation layer or above the transport layer or in between the presentation and the transport layer. Now, let us see what all services are provided by the session layer, the fifth layer of OSI model. Okay. Session layer, now let us see how we have defined the session layer. The session layer is the fifth layer of seven layer architecture of OSI model. We all are aware of that. The name itself hints the functions that are associated with this layer. Services provided by the session layer are. <coughs> Before beginning up with the services provided by the session layer, we should know what actually a session is. A session is actually a virtual, is actually a conceptual connection between the source and the destination for a time being, for a time. Now, this session is established between the source and the destination at the time when the data is to be transmitted from the source towards the destination. This session is a service that makes the OSI or makes the communication a reliable one. Now, let us see what all services are provided by the session layer. Authentication and authorization. These two words are a confusing one, are confusing one rather. Now, what is authentication? It is a process of verifying the identity of a user who desires to access a digital system. Now, firstly, the authorization is given to a user and then after the authentication. Now, authentication is done using the username as well as the password. Now, uh, let us repeat with the definition of authentication. It is a process of verifying the identity of a user. It is a process of verifying the identity. How can we verify the identity of a user? By by verifying his or her username and password. Who desires to access a digital system? It can be a digital system, it can be an account or someone like that. Authorization. It is a process of granting permission or approval to the user for accessing the digital system. There might be a bit confusing one. The, uh, the uh, difference, the basic difference is that authorization is actually a permission or an approval from the system who is, who is allowing the second system to communicate with it. The authentication is done by username and password and authorization is the permission that is provided by the parent system. Now, moving on to the next slide, the functions that are performed by the session layer. The function performed by the session layer, the major functions performed by the session layer are opening of a session or we can say establishing of a session. Opening a session hereby means establishing a connection between source and the destination. Now, the second Managing the session. Once the session is opened or established, now till the session is active, the management of the session is done by the session layer itself. The session is managed by the session layer until the session is on. Closing of session. After finishing up with the job for which the session was created. Uh, for example, the session was created to transfer the data between source and destination. After, after finishing up the uh, transmission, the session is demolished or closed by the session layer. Now, the three functions that session layer perform are the first one, opening or establishing a session or creating a session. The second one, managing that session. And the last one, after the completion of the task for, for which the session was established, the session is demolished or closed by the session layer. The next topic for the DG page that, will, uh, that we will have will be the session layer protocol and devices. The protocols and devices associated with the session layer